analysis of geopolymer concrete superseding cement with flash. We have chosen this project specifically to try and deal with the pollution. Pollution is the main problem of the concern nowadays. So, in effort to reduce pollution, considering construction industry, we have tried to experiment by using locally available fly ash to maximum percentage to replace the cement, so that the pollution that is caused while production of the cement can be minimized. In the initial stage, we have collected materials required for geopolymer concrete. Those are sodium silicate, sodium hydroxide, sand, limestone aggregate and fly ash. We have analyzed with two groups of fly ash that are F-class fly ash and C-class fly ash. Casting of the blocks was done in two stages. In first stage, the casting of the blocks was done with 100% use of F-class and C-class fly ash and no use of cement to check whether bonding takes place according to the literature reviews. Hollow blocks of 150 mm cube were used for the casting. After proper mixing of geopolymer concrete, it was poured into the blocks greased on inner face. Then the pouring of geopolymer concrete was done in blocks continuous with the help of scoop and the trowel. While pouring of concrete, compaction was with the help of the tamping trowel. After the compaction, proper leveling was done at the top level. After that, the hollow blocks were kept for 24 hours at room temperature for the setting purpose. After 24 hours setting, blocks were kept into the hot air oven at 62 plus minus 2 degrees Celsius temperature. Then the concrete blocks were removed and wrapped with the vinyl sheet for avoiding the moisture loss. Then they were kept for the curing at room temperature and removed at the time of testing. In second stage, in second stage, the casting was done by taking 100%. 20% and so on percentage of the cement replacing flash to check how much flash can be utilized in geopolymer concrete so as to obtain reliable strength. In this stage, only C-class fly ash was used as F-class fly ash bonding was not seen. The compaction of geopolymer concrete was done by tamping rod as well as by vibration for removing the air voids. Thereafter, temperature curing was carried out. In second stage, in second stage, the casting was done by taking 10%, 20%, and so on percentage of the cement replacing fly ash to check how much fly ash can be utilized in geopolymer concrete, so as to obtain reliable strength. In this stage, only C-class fly ash was used as F-class fly ash bonding was not seen. The compaction of geopolymer concrete was done by the tamping of rod as well as by vibration for removing the air voids. Thereafter, temperature curing was carried out. Here is the detailed mix design that we have adopted for the casting of the geopolymer concrete blocks. These are the objectives and scope of our project. The observations and the results that we have got while testing of compressive strength of the geopolymer concrete blocks are included in our report. So finally, conclusion of our project is F-class flash does not give proper bonding for 100% replacement. Similarly, when C-class flash is used, it gives very low strength and uneven finishing. And for the concrete with the 60% flash and 40% cement, we got maximum strength.